What's up everybody, Ian Gambini here from Relic Gear Reviews. That was just the Rocktron Piranha that you heard in that clip. And yeah, the Rocktron Piranha is a super vicious, super high gain guitar preamp from the mid 90s. Uh, they're kind of rare, it's not super often you see them anymore. So um, yeah, I found this one for a really good deal and I wanted one for quite a while. So I had to jump on it and sure enough, it is freaking sweet. So let's dive in. Here's a rhythm crunch type of channel that I made. The guitar that I'm playing is an ESP LTD MH200 and it's got EMGs in it. And I'm running through a PV Classic 120-120 into a couple of PV412 cabs. One is mic'd with a Sennheiser E609 microphone and then I'm also sending a direct signal from the Piranha into a brick, uh, basically microphone preamp, tube preamp, and blending the signals accordingly. And here we go. Now the user interface in this thing is pretty simple. I have it set up like a Marshall meets Mesa Boogie kind of thing. Starting from the left, you've got the power switch, then the preset number indicator, and then the value number indicator shows you kind of what, how much the value is at whatever setting you're on. And then the groups of buttons basically just act as global settings, like up, down, between presets, store, hush, global, distortion, clean, effects loop, stuff like that. And then you've got your EQ, and then a input and output line level knob. And on the back panel, starting from the left, you have a secondary input jack. Say something happens to the front panel, you can't use it anymore for some reason, you have another one. And then to the right from there, you have the loop, which is loop in, a loop level knob, basically just adjusting the wet or dry mix of your loop and then uh, loop returns and stereo to left and right. And then uh, to the right of that you have two sets of outputs. Just the first set is your main outputs that you're going to want to use but then they did put a second set of outputs that has uh, some sort of wannabe cab sim in there. Everybody thinks that they sound like crap but I think with experimenting you might be able to find something there. After that you have the MIDI in and out and at the end, a power plug. Here's the 
bass. I like it to be pretty fat. Get that kind of bottom end like you would in a recto or something. Mid has two voicings. Pretty sensitive. Here's the trouble. Sorry about the glare. fatter, a little darker. The gain is, is insane. Um, it just feels really good to play. Running through that PV Classic, the two power amp, it just really makes it come to life. That bottom end is there. Two preamp, definitely pretty heavy gain. I mean, I have the gain at 15, I'm still able to play. Probably don't need the gain to be anything past 30 or 40 with the, uh, the, the modern mode on. Like, it should be illegal how much gain this thing has. But then again, it is powered by two 12AX7 tubes in the input section. And my version is the lower wattage version. There's like two versions, two revisions. And the higher wattage version allows for more gain to pass through. So it allows for even more gain than that. There's a master volume running those EMGs directly in with this thing is, is, is just insane. That little blinking light to the right is the modern button and it's just insane. Okay. Definitely getting that pushed Marshall sound, that that kind of 90s uh, recto sound. You got that 90s type of voice to it. I'm really happy with the overall just gain stage that this thing has. It is really, really comfortable to play, and it, uh, it just sounds really good in the room. So here's without the gate. Rockton's pretty notorious for the, the hush stuff, the gate stuff. Um, it's probably essential with this much gain to have some sort of gate. I like to have it in the threshold set at negative 50 or 40 if it's pretty bad, depends on where you're at. So yeah, the Rocktron Piranha is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Um, this thing is so incredibly hot and high gain. It is insane that the gate does that good of a job. Um, I, I'm really happy with how it feels, how it sounds. It's very user friendly, it's very simple. I rate this thing at a, like a total 10 out of 10. It smashes a lot of other preamps that I've played. Um, it's incredible. I highly recommend it if you can find one. 
these things are kind of rare nowadays like I said earlier in the video and uh, it's it was kind of tricky to find this one but it was well worth every penny um, now here's some just basic presets I'm just gonna scroll through the presets and you're just gonna be able to hear what it sounds like you know when you when you go buy one yourself it's just gonna have all these different settings to choose from and uh, you can assign a MIDI controller to to the unit and go from there and program channels and have all sorts of fun with that and I highly recommend experimenting with the effects loop as well
Thank you.